All right, so our first technique today, we're just going to be countering a regular reverse de la Hiva with a knee shield. All right. So Mike's got his reverse de la Hiva set up. He's got a knee shield in. This is very annoying for me to deal with right here. So what I'm going to do, I've got my leg based out. I'm going to get very heavy on top of his legs. I'm usually going to look at him, get double collar grips. It just gives me a lot of support and stabilization. I'm going to crunch myself in and start applying a lot of pressure here. All right, so what we're going to look to do, I'm going to be stepping my leg back. I'm going to be shoving his foot in between and I will be going around. So to do that, my leg has to come in a little bit and I need to turn my knee downwards, okay? If Mike kicks his leg out, he can replace his guard very easily and I'm gonna run into problems if he does that. So I'm gonna simply turn my knee inwards, which will block his hook from coming and giving me problems, okay? So simple little adjustment. From here, I apply my pressure. I'm going to open my knee as I pull his foot. So I pull the foot, open my knee, and then I shove the foot back in and drop my knee to the floor. From here, I sprawl my weight on his legs, a windshield wiping my leg over, and then I will pass around nice and easy to the side of my partner. Now, whenever we start passing our partner's guard this way, I've got easy back takes accessible here, chokes. My partner's usually gonna go to turtle in this position, and that's when I can go to start taking the back from there. I'm gonna show that from a few different angles so you guys can see the, the footwork going on. Um, So Mike's got everything locked in right here. I've got my double collar grips. My knee is crunched in. Reach back, grab a foot, open my knee, shove the knee inside, and then my knee drops to the floor. And I sprawl my way on his leg so that he can't use them. To protect myself, I windshield wiper my foot over his legs. And from there, I can just do a simple little back step, circle, and then start setting up your options from here. position. You gotta make sure when you grab this foot, really try to peel it open as you slide your knee up. Shove it back down, knee drops. Put all your weight on top of their legs. If they open their legs back up, you're gonna have to deal with them all over again. Windshield wiper, back step, circle. Make sure your knees get behind your partner's back. If I'm sloppy with my side control here, Mike's just gonna get back flat on the mat and turn back into me. Make sure your knees go right up underneath your partner's back. Get the top of your chest right under the back as well. Applying yeah. my knee cut pass, he counters, I grip, knee comes in, heavy pressure, hand to the foot, open, stuff, drop. Windshield wiper, come right around. Make sure you get your chest right below their shoulder. If you're up high like this, no bueno. See, you can just turn back into me. Hand goes to the back of the shoulder, my chest goes there, and from here, I can set up back takes, chokes, arm locks, everything. So remember when you're passing, sometimes it's better to go around the frames instead of in front of the frames. Not always the best move to do. All right, everybody got it? One, three, one, two, three.